Hello and welcome to All My Art and Soul. Nice to see you back. And this week, I decided to start with the collage layer. So, if you're liking this content, um, stay to the end and don't forget to like and subscribe um, because it just helps my channel grow. As you can see, um, I have a few pages left in this um, media sketch pad. I have it right here in front of me, this piece that I created. And um, I've been just trying to get things out of the way and I had all these other ideas, which I've done to get to just using a bunch of my scraps. Um, these are napkins. And this particular one that I'm peeling now, I never did use in this piece, but I just use a little bit of the yellow um, and white with white polka dots. So as you can see, um, I have the deli paper, which is very delicate. I should call it delicate paper. Anyway, um, it's so transparent and cool, especially when you use a fan brush. I think I used ink. And you can also use uh, permanent ink, by the way, waterproof, um, acrylic paint, watered down. So um, we're going to, I was going to call this video uh, starting um, with the collage layer, an all over composition. And that's what it is. So um, there's so many types of, they're called armatures. There's the L, there's the oval, there's the golden uh, that center, there's thirds, there's so many, but I like just a few to keep it simple. And I wanted to gather a bunch of really inspiring uh, big scraps, little scraps of bright colors and just to see, um, I, just to start with collage as my first layer. And, um, so I'm piling them all here, and of course I've got to go through them and uh, minimize this pile. Um, if I was working on uh, a canvas or a cradle board, I would definitely use a lot more of these big pieces. So um, bright colors, neutral colors, black and white. And we're going for an all over um, because I've been trying my darndest to move away and why I don't know because I did landscapes for so long and but the abstract art the abstract approach and different compositions I just love the use of the flat space and I've been trying to get that and process that into my into my art process uh, and, and it's it's got getting there but it's, it's a slow process for me. So I thought, you know what? It doesn't matter what piece I'm working on in an art journal. I still want to activate it with uh, a positive affirmation, strong intention this time, and then uh, respond. So I'm um, learning to um, get clean the area up get more organized as to all the possible collage pieces that are right there in my reach, making sure I have everything there so I can stay in the flow. Um, realizing too that I do have the heavy gloss medium, I need to get just the gloss medium, which is more fluid and easier to brush on for this type of process. So I made a note of that. Um, this paper isn't super heavy, so it doesn't need um, the heavy gloss. And I think just the regular um, gloss medium would have been more fluid on the paper surface. And if you want as well, you could also add a quick layer of gesso, let it dry, and then um, I think they just it would um, strengthen up the paper, but you know we're not showing this or whatever. I just you know just using what I have 
and trying to keep it simple. So my favorite circles with the foam stamps, um, I'm going to use those all the time, just trying to change it up. And as you can see, um, as you do more of these with your scraps, I have so many scraps, it's ridiculous. I would love to hear the stories of the scrapped ephemera or collage papers that everyone has and everyone uses or not. So um, leave a comment. And then of course we have the bubbling right away. So I'm thinking if I had the the more fluid or the regular gloss medium, it probably, maybe it wouldn't have dried as quickly. I don't know. Uh, as you can see, I have the, the great oversized knife there because I had all my little blades, which are super sharp, and, but I have no, re um, I need refills for them. So I've got to go to the hardware store or wherever or, you know, borrow one from my husband. I don't know where it went. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't do that too much. <laughs> All right, see, so I'm overlapping, going horizontal, going vertical, and making sure if I have a transparent piece, there's something interesting that'll really show under there. But that's it. I'm just feeling... Um, just responding and trying not to think. And, and I find the, the bigger the pile, the harder it is, of course, to find everything. So excuse me while I mull around on the left there. <laughs> it's also crazy season. Uh, I don't know if, you know, being a teacher, you know that time of year. So I feel like I've, you know, haven't done any art for a while. Oh, I can't wait. So that's the point. That's one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel, just to get my art out there and to get into this art journaling and share um, with what I know to others. So please, um, I don't know, I don't sound like I'm begging. I don't want to say, I don't want to do that. You know, if you feel inspired to uh, hit the like, share, and uh, there's that little dollar sign thing, buy me a coffee if you're inspired to. There's nothing wrong with that. And notice, uh, so back to the page, enough of that. See that little circle, which goes perfectly. It's a little more blue, but it's still subtle. So the differences on this page are building as I just bring that around uh, pieces next to each other, contrast, subtlety. Now, in hindsight, this piece looks perfect where it is. There's the other part of it that I snip away, I think. Um, that one, yeah, there's a it's, a, it's a little wide, but I do leave that alone. Oh yeah, there it is. It's on the left. And so I cut it into another rectangle snip one of the edges clean because I, I know I'm going to put it on the edge, um, but should have, should have cut a woulda, you know, hindsight, put it more diagonally across um, this black, um, black and white or black and neutral shape. There it is right there. Um, but I fix that by putting, see, that would have been perfect right there. Should have left it. But for some reason, I wanted, I don't know. It, it drew the eye up. And maybe I was thinking, oh, I will put another black, but different shape there using my color shaper, which is right there. And that's an all, which I never did use here because I didn't use a lot of paint to scrape through. So, you know, you just gather the tools that you might use so they're there. And using contrast, um, so I don't put that orange there, I end up using pink. I love pink, orange, neutral, yellow together. Oh, it's so amazing. Oh yeah, that was a good move. And then another layer of neutral on top of your bright colors. 
So there's this beautiful pink and I didn't want it interfering with this interesting black shape. So then I made it tall, taller and narrower so it fit better in that corner. So um, how's everybody's art journaling going? I would love to hear if you are creating along with me. I know lately I've had some, some new subscribers to my channel. Welcome to the channel and um, uh, leave a comment. And I know uh, last, week's, last week's page was just really out of the box because I started with this crazy red and one of you uh, said that, why would you do that if you, if, if you don't like it? Well, you know, I, my intention, as I replied, so you can read the comment, was a, nice, a nicer, warmer orange. But of course, experimenting with colors, you find out. Uh, sometimes it is trial and error. Actually, it's a lot of trial and error. So learning here that the napkins are awesome thin and translucent, but delicate. So I don't know, I, I think I used too much elbow grease with that brush there. So make a note of that. I go to the dollar store and different stores to collect them now. So um, again, leave a comment if any of you are using napkins or cool things. Now notice I put that sort of it's it's a beautiful delicate yellow i love it it reminds me of this tea set uh that i that i once owned um old antique tea set which came with you know on the sort of on the plate it has the the little plate for the toast and your napkin and it has like a little set just for one person with all these delicate flowers oh i loved it so when I see yellows, I think of English gardens, delicate flowers. Um, I don't use it a lot, but I like it in small amounts, especially near black and white or black and neutral with those, uh, oop, I haven't put them on yet. Stay tuned to the end. So that piece that's there is a piece of newsprint paper with paint and scribbled with crayons. Um, just horizontal, vertical. Now, uh, I made that expression with my hand, meaning, do I even need the paint? So I regret putting that out, ended, wa ended up wasting it. I know it's just a little dab, but, ugh. So, next time I'm just gonna start the page have the paints there and then put them out if I need them or want them. So, see so searching around? Now, I, I didn't mind it over there, but it fit here. Didn't want to cover up that interesting shape and just getting out that bubble. And that did work. Slicing into the bubble delicately because of course this is a this is paper it's not a canvas or a or a wood cradle you can be a lot a lot more robust so i'm really liking okay how far do i okay trying to find this nope 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 so i needed to move it up just a little bit that that works and so i end up covering that piece but only that little little uh, piece is sticking out and that's just how we how I am beginning I think I've no, I wouldn't say beginning but I have learned uh, and learning more how to let go of things and uh, seeing where these layers can go so so much fun god this is so much fun <clears throat> I know other uh, people who aren't creatives and, um, you know, you wouldn't be here watching if you weren't, um, just don't get it. <laughs> oh, I would love to hear some comments about um, friends of yours or even, you know, partners. Um, 
if you're with uh, a real creative or the total opposite and, you know, what they think art journaling is or abstract art journaling, it's just, you know, you spend hours on it. <laughs> so there's that little piece again. That's just a little piece of some interesting wrap. Uh, real neutral coffee color that had a stretch to it. I think it was just some wrapping paper that I ended up just drawing a whole bunch of lines on. So this piece is coming together and I'm really liking the white left underneath. But I do add right now, here we go, just that little bit of yellow around those shapes. And so now the message, and I love that. When you just put enough white on that black piece, it just pushes it back and just adds more interest to that layering while there, whilst there's other layers underneath. So stay tuned to the end because then I add one more stronger black layer on top and then a very transparent neutral tissue paper in that middle section. So um, it's really cool. Looking at this and then looking at the, at the finished piece right here beside me as I'm doing my voiceover. So I tried, I knew I wanted to do some stenciling. Um, just a delicate stenciling over top. In hindsight, I think black or you know, definitely a stronger or higher contrast would have worked. I was thinking subtlety and, you know, you don't even notice that in a way. It sort of adds some texture to that already yellow area, but I let that dry and go over it with my color shaper. And here's this beautiful paper. I have a whole bunch of it now. Now I just need to create different lines and different patterns for different purposes with this paper. Oh, it is so cool. Now, it would have looked great in any of those positions, but for some reason to continue those two horizontal lines, the bottom part of the six circles and the top, right across while seeing other layers underneath. So when you can practice exper and exploring, yeah, great knife. Huh. Um, I need to get some nice sharp X-Acto knives, definitely. So that's two things I need to go buy. So there's that. Too strong, too distractive, and it overpowers a lot of things already on there. So we've got enough black and white sections. We're missing a little weight of black in the upper right hand area, which is always good to go compositionally across diagonally or horizontal or horizontally or vertically from another high contrasted area. Now, definitely thinking of changing the size, you don't want the same thing, but you're thinking, here we're thinking value. Uh, thinking of values and the weight of this piece and balance. <clears throat> so you can, art journaling, abstract art journaling is what I'm calling it. That's what we're doing. And um, I know the algorithm uh, isn't really finding abstract art journaling because I check my Google Analytics and all this stuff. I'm learning that. It's just it's just another thing I have to do. Um, so I put art journaling first. I change the titles of some of my videos and um, I don't know if it's going to work, but you know. And then I'm loving and getting used to slowly uh, the color shapers, especially with black. One little stroke, and it's just an incredible texture it makes. Uh, clean edges, 
but not perfect edges like a ruler or a or a uh, painting um, tool would leave. So then I'm thinking, okay, now we need to balance in, of course, that last upper um, right-hand corner. And I decided to go in the lightest, most emptiest part of the corner, which is, you can see on the, the open part, and I didn't want to cover um, on the right of the numbers, and I didn't want to cover page, I just love numbers. Uh, numerocably, numbers are, wow, very powerful. So, yeah, right in there. And when you go across, it just picks up the texture, which is very different from those very solid black sh organic shapes that I have. And I believe, I don't know if that's ink or acrylic paint. Hmm. But it's on newsprint paper, so I think it's acrylic paint. Yeah, squirted out and then pressed. And you just, you know, like those ink blots. They're really cool to do that. I do my pages sometimes. Um, I should do a demo. That's what I'll do. Got next week's video all set to go. I've never shown that other method. This is earlier in my journaling, art journaling, abstract art journaling. So I love that middle transparent piece of deli paper so much, I decided to add one more. And if something's, if something's working, add a little more, but keeping it different. And then so the black little delicate dots, not going overboard. Adding that line and bringing it down definitely drops the eye from that black section on the lower right or the middle right down. And then having a strong contrast so you, your eye moves to the, from the right to the left. And of course, some strong yellow inside the yellow area. And thinking similar value, but still bringing the eye across, using the old, um, and I love the, I love the subtlety between the, uh, the paint and that old faded paper. Those are some recent books from my old bookstore. I think it was a high school, um, some sort of bookkeeping course. <laughs> it was amazing. I love going down uh, the bookstore, all the old books are down in the dungeon and that's where I head down when I go collecting. So here is the extra line that I decided, and I'm not sure if it's too much or not. It sort of covers too much of the nice circles. So I have it down. I did it. Doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's how we learn. But I think I came up with a solution of um, this natural color um, tissue paper. And I bring it across from um, the, the six circles edge just slightly below sort of covering the to the lowering the contrast of those lines that I just finished making with the black and yeah just making sure I have enough white see the high contrast of the white and black so right away it brings the eye down and here we go, we are going to do the big reveal. We are done. And that's um, a different way to uh, start an abstract art journaling page or an abstract painting if you're doing, you know, on any surface, it doesn't really matter, um, with a collage la layer using your scraps. And we're call we call this an all over composition. And then, of course, um, 
my paint, my tape, uh, this white tape, super sticky. I just, I can't stand blue or yellow or any of those other colors on the edge because it clashes with the colors I'm using. I need to use white. I just need to find a better white tape. Oh yeah, some of you subscribers mentioned something already. Um, if you don't mind mentioning it again, <laughs> and maybe some of us can, uh, we'll, uh, we'll learn, we'll learn something. Sharing and learning. Okay. Oh, the clean edge looks great. Okay, so if you're liking, oh, here we go, one more, one more piece. And of course, it loves to stick if you don't slice your collage papers at the edge where it meets the tape. So I'm gonna call this one collage layer, starting with a collage layer, an all over composition. Really loving how this turned out because it's different again. I love doing things that are a little different. And with my favorite colors, I have so many favorite colors. Uh, great combo, yellow ochre, orange, um, that neutral, and black, black and white. That's it. Simple palette. So um, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And uh, here's some close-ups and some stills of the page. And I will see you in the next video.